Hello guys, welcome to Super Squad, and today we will be reviewing the WWE Battle Pack, Adam Rose and the Bunny. Now ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a bit of an older pack as the Bunny is not really there anymore. I call it the Bunny Curse. Justin Gabriel was the Bunny and he's gone. And then Brad Maddox was the Bunny and then now he's gone. You should have put Vince McMahon as the Bunny so he could be gone too. Um... But yeah. Cool. And on the back of the box here, you can see this is a SmackDown thing. Don't know why they still do that because technically SmackDown is raw. So anyways, on the they have another thing, Bray Wyatt and Undertaker, and then they have uh, Nikki Bella and Brie Bella. Which is actually a set I want, and so do I. I want this one too. Because I've seen what Bray Wyatt looks like, and he looks really good in that one. Uh, I like the shirt and stuff. Anyways, let's get into so, okay, let's uh, open it up here. Okay, I'm going to save the backing because it looks cool. Because why not? They had a lot of stuff at uh, Walmart today. Usually, last Christmas, there was nothing. Like Christmas this today, there was like nothing last year. Uh, this year, though, there was a lot of stuff. Like they had uh, some John Cena's, which they always do. Uh, they had uh, some del a lot of deluxe Daniel Bryan's. Um... They had a del one deluxe Farouk and one deluxe um, Bradshaw. They had a deluxe Adam Rose from when he first came around. Uh, they had a couple Hideo Watamis, and I believe they had a Miz, some Mizzes or something, but I don't really care. And I actually didn't see these. My sister actually caught this, because I was actually going to get... Um, I don't remember what I was going to get. Oh, I think I was going to get Hideo Watami, which is on a deluxe. And then my sister pointed this out. She's like, hey, look at this. And I'm a big fan of Adam Rose. Um, I always have been. Um, I like a lot of low-card superstars like Adam Rose, Curtis Axel, Dean, uh, Dean Ambrose. I like Dean Ambrose, but... Uh, I don't remember his name right now. Uh, Damian Sandow and Heath Slater, especially Heath Slater. And they come out with a Heath Slater, like, new new retire and stuff with the t-shirt. They, oh, they, they come with the t-shirt. Anyways, let's... Uh, with that and here's this and he comes with a hat first what we're gonna do though is we're first going to we're gonna take out Adam Rose first and review him first all right any anyways we're gonna take out Adam Rose he's got this stupid stuff around him I'm gonna bite it off <laughs> There we go. Ouch. Okay, he doesn't have it around him. Okay. Okay, his arm's kind of loose, but that's okay. Okay, and his arm's a little bit wonky on this one, but... That's fine. Anyways, averagely though, he he's a decent looking figure. Um, okay, there we go. Figure kind of fell, but that's okay. Carpeted floor. Uh, he stands up kind of wonky. I don't know why I keep saying wonky, but I don't know. He stands up kind of wonky a little bit. Um, just a little bit. Kind of on a weird angle, but uh, there we go. Averagely though. It is a very, very nice looking figure. Uh, I really like it. Uh, the hair is really good on him. Um, the only thing I don't really enjoy about it is the face kind of... I don't know. It just... The face looks really good. Um, it just... I don't know what it is about it. It just kind of turns me off. Maybe it's this little brown dot above his head. I don't think that's a freckle. <laughs> Uh, it says exotic right here and has Rose down this leg and Adam down this leg, Adam Rose. And it's just very, very nice figure. Um, okay, we're going to put him to the side. And now we're going to review. Oh, yeah. He also comes with this uh, hat. 
see if it fits on his head. It does. Amazing. The other one came with like a hat and sunglasses. This is the deluxe one, but it's so outdated. I didn't feel like getting it. I felt like getting a more updated one. All right. Uh, a little bit of camera trouble today. And the next figure we'll get onto is the bunny, aka Justin Gabriel. Now, the bunny is. He reminds me of a Jax figure, to be honest, because these kind of figures, they have, like, these kind of arms, and then the Jax figures just have, the, like, these kind of arms. So it kind of reminds me of a little bit of a Jax figure. I have a lot of Jax figures. I have more Jax figures than I do Mattel figures, uh, to be completely honest with you. Now, you know what would be amazingly funny? If you could take off the helmet and Justin Gabriel was under it. It's fine, like, okay, the bunny's revealed. And uh, the one thing I do not really like about this figure, to be completely honest, is this uh, coat here. I'm not a big fan of it, because the bunny only wore that in the very beginning. And then after that, he just wore, like, he didn't wear this. He just wore the costume. Uh, there's the tail. Um, averagely, though, it is a good figure. It's very heavy. And, uh, yeah. And the other funny thing is, the bunny is, like, a monster over, you guys can see this. He is, like, a monster over freaking Adam Rose, and I don't think, I think it's the other way around. Because I think Justin Gabriel is shorter than Adam Rose, so. Yeah. But anyways, averagely, these two figures are very good. Oh, Jesus! And he takes the bunny out. Oh, and Justin Gabriel's released. Oh, and we never see the bunny again. Oh, whoa. No way, they can't be the same. Anyways, guys. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys like figure reviews, I will do more. Because I love doing figure reviews. So, if you guys want more, I'll do more. Oh, our truth, you broke them up. <laughs>